like the eagle watching the direction of the wind and then it spreads its wings that's what we call soaring it does not fly the eagle soars first chronicles chapter 12 and of the children of Issachar which were men that had understanding of the seasons to know what Israel ought to do just sit down God bless you it says the children of Issachar which were men that had understanding please if I, if I can get amplified I'll be using amplified most of the time he said they had what understanding of the times it's one thing to know the times but it's another thing to have an understanding a comprehension hallelujah I've told us again that activities in the earth realm are governed by times and seasons and one of the greatest assets that a believer can have is the ability to comprehend times and seasons one of the greatest tragedy in the church is we do not understand the timings of the spirit but he said there are certain people the children the sons of Issachar the Bible says they had understanding of the times and they knew what Israel ought to do in other words there is something to do in every time and every season but until you understand the time you will not be empowered to know what to do hallelujah first Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 1 Paul speaking to the church says but of the times and the seasons brethren I do not need to write to you again about this but of the times so Paul acknowledged the fact that there were times and seasons and when you understand he said but as okay you've taken it away unto the suitable times and the precise seasons and dates he says the suitable time and the precise season and date one of the greatest indication of spiritual maturity is the ability to coincide with heavenly things in this realm it is an amazing dimension of stability in the spirit you can pray in tongues, you can work miracles, you can raise the dead, but the true proof of your spiritual stamina is the ability to shift with the cloud and to shift with the wind. Hallelujah. He said, but of the times and the seasons, I do not need to write to you. I want you to know that we are in a prophetic season. As the church of Christ in Nigeria, one of the reasons why people do not know what to do and are confused is because we do not even know what is the blueprint and the program of the spirit hallelujah and very sad and unfortunate there are many ministers preaching everything saying everything but we need to be captured in his glory such that our ears he said i will set i will stand upon my watch and i will set myself upon the tower habakkuk chapter 2 verse 1 and i will see what the lord will say I will stand upon my watch set myself upon the tower hallelujah that you will hear what the Lord is saying that you will emphasize what God is emphasizing that you will shift when he shifts that you will align it takes the Holy Ghost to be able to guide you to navigate but that is the secret of strength and consistency and grace and advancement in the spirit For you can eat the manna of yesterday and die today. There is always a fresh manna for every day. Hallelujah. And this is one of the reasons why we need discernment. Hallelujah. Throughout the period of fasting, one of the things that the Lord was reminding me. And saying, emphasize this to the body of Christ. Discernment. It was by discernment we were able to understand that this is what the Lord will have us do in this season. Hallelujah. It's not just some kind of spiritual ambition. Discernment. Accuracy and precision. Walking with the Spirit. To understand the things that Israel ought to do. Hallelujah. 
Let me tell you what discernment is. Discernment is, is an enablement of the spirit. Hallelujah. It is a working of the spirit upon your spirit, upon your mind that grants you comprehension of times and seasons the motivations behind spiritual operations that you are able to look and understand what god is doing why he is doing what he's doing where he is going the ability to perceive and comprehend the movements of the spirit discernment hallelujah Discernment helps you to perceive and to judge the happenings around you from a spiritual perspective. You cannot use your carnal mind. What is happening in Nigeria, for instance, the church of God in Nigeria? What is happening in the church universal? When you judge using your five senses, you will make a big mistake because the things of the spirit are only judged from a spiritual plane. Hallelujah. Discernment grants you the ability to judge things from the realm of the spirit and make decisions on account of your spiritual judgment are you listening to me very important discernment helps you to receive the prophetic blueprint for the next phase of your life it takes discernment you see because god's purposes are eternal but his methods change and transit and your ability to understand the pattern of God for your life part time God can use a pattern and you get to a phase of your life where he will switch patterns and your ability to switch with him will grant you consistency otherwise you will stick and stay retarded are you listening to me discernment very very powerful And, and, and you see, the thing about patterns is this. The pattern of God and his mode of operation is unique for every man. That's the reason why you can receive the pattern that God gave a man for ministry and you will fail. Hallelujah. It takes staying in the presence to receive not only the direction but the pattern. He told Moses in Exodus chapter 40, I think from verse 16. He said, ensure that the house is built according to pattern. Hope I'm right. Hallelujah. Discernment. It's one great thing we need to have. Discernment is not word of knowledge. Are you listening to me? Word of knowledge just gives you a comprehension of something about somebody's life. Discernment helps you to understand the operation of the spirit. By discernment you can know not just the kind of anointing that is in a place but the degree to which that anointing is present and when that anointing lifts by discernment you can understand the flow of the spirit by discernment you can know when the holy spirit has stopped moving when you start one of the most difficult thing for a believer is to know when to stop moving it's easier to know when to start than to know when to stop discerning of spirits that you understand the language of the spirit for the season hallelujah and i believe that one of the things that prayer and fasting does is to increase our capacity to discern spiritual things because your organs of expression and interaction with the realm of the spirit are heightened and activated as you pray and so you are able to comprehend the things of the spirit and to know what god is saying and why he's saying what he's saying one of the greatest tragedy for a man is for God to be moving and then the man is taking another journey. It may look like God, it may sound like God, it may taste like God, but it will not have the signature of the freshness of God's presence. Hallelujah. Very important. Let me tell you one of the things that discernment does. Discernment helps you to understand the prophetic seasons of your life. To know when to stand to know when to move to know when are you listening to me discernment helps you to understand where the spirit of god is moving part time your spirit is activated and heightened and you can understand the voice and the language of the spirit at every given time 
it helps you to receive divine illumination for every season to know the people to know the anointings and to understand the geography of your season every time god called people and led them through seasons it was tied to geographical places god would tell a man for a certain season for a certain time god will have to send certain people because of certain new seasons there are he will send them i want you to understand that seasons are territorial in this realm one of the greatest disaster for a man is to understand god but not to understand the geography there is a geography that activates the anointing upon your life discernment when isaac was about to leave god said no 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 by discernment he said stay back when other people were leaving running out of egypt there was famine but god said for you this is my strategy for you and isaac sold in that land and received that same year an hundredfold and the man was rich he worked strong he went further and the philistines envied him hallelujah in fact the bible tells discernment to spiritual growth it says strong meat are for them who are of full age who by reason of use have exercised their spiritual senses to discern a man can stand and is speaking and you can discern whether this guy carries the identity of god or not he can quote scriptures from Genesis to Revelation, but by discernment you will hear another sound in the spirit. And you say, this is not the sound that comes from the throne room. A man can look at your life and be giving you accurate prophecies, but you can look at him and discern and know that no, this guy is not using the power of God. Although what he's saying is accurate, but this does not come from the spirit. Discernment. To understand what Israel ought to do. Lift your hands and say, Lord, I receive discernment. 